Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about odd and even numbers. So to get started, let's talk about the word pair. What does the word pair mean? And what are some things that come in pairs? Take a moment to think about those questions or talk to a partner. Well, we use the word pair to talk about things that come in groups of two. And you may have thought about some different things that come in pairs, like shoes, eyes, or gloves. And there are a lot of other things too that come in pairs. You can group just about anything in pairs. Let's look at a bunch of apples. In fact, I'm going to bring in a whole bunch of apples, 30 of them. Now, if you could draw circles around pairs of these apples, how would the circles look? Well, here's one way to circle the pairs. I'll just draw circles around two apples, and then I'll keep going, circling more pairs. Now, what do pairs have to do with odd and even? Well, let's take the number six. And to go with the number six, we'll draw six circles. Now, if I want to draw a line to match each pair of circles, I'll do something like this. And you'll notice that every circle is part of a pair. That's why we say that six is an even number, because every object is part of a pair with an even number. Another way to think about even numbers is that you can split the number into two equal groups. So with the number six, I can draw a circle around a group of three and circle another group of three. You can split the number six into two equal groups of three. Now let's take a look at another number, the number nine. If we try to make pairs with nine circles, it turns out that one circle isn't part of a pair. That means that nine is an odd number because one object isn't part of a pair. And if we try to split the circles into two equal groups, we can't do it. So with an odd number, we can't split it into two equal groups. Okay, let's take a look at some more numbers and this time see if you can figure out if they're odd or even. How about the number eight? Here are eight circles to help you figure it out. So is eight odd or even? Take a moment to think about it or talk to a partner. Okay, let's see. If we try to make pairs with each of these circles, every circle is part of a pair. And we can make two equal groups of four. So this means that the number eight is even. Let's take a look at one more number, the number five. Here are five circles to help you. Is five odd or even? Take a moment to decide your answer. Okay, if we try to make pairs with each of these circles, you can see that one circle is not part of a pair. And if we try to make two equal groups, we can't do it. So this means that the number five is odd. So now you know some ways to figure out whether a number is odd or even, and you might be able to come up with some other ways too, but those are the basics of odd and even. Thanks for watching.